Eva Longoria has always considered herself a hopeless romantic, and it wasn't until she was in her 40s that she finally met the man of her dreams. It took two failed marriages, a lot of heartaches, and relationship drama before Eva and Jose Baston found the love and happiness they had been searching for. After three trips down the aisle, Longoria finally found her fairy tale ending. Fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> You're about to be divorced twice. Eva Longoria's first marriage to Tyler Christopher is often forgotten about. The pair tied the knot in 2002 when the actress was 27 years old. At the time, Eva was working on The Young and the Restless, while Tyler was known for his role in General Hospital. Unfortunately, just two years later, they ended up divorced. At the time, the reason for the former couple's split wasn't clear, and they parted ways amicably. A few years later, Eva reflected on her brief marriage to Tyler and suggested that the timing just wasn't right. He was a lovely man, but I was very young. I didn't know who I was, and I was still struggling as an actor. I was a terrible wife, she shared. Over the next few years, Longoria briefly dated former NSYNC member J.C. Chazé. She was later linked to Canadian actor Hayden Christensen although the details around their alleged relationship were pretty scarce. There were often whispers and speculations about Eva's love life, but the actress did her best to avoid the media when it came to who she was really dating. That being said, she admitted that the timelines around her past relationships weren't always neat and tidy, and she didn't always keep track of who she had dated. I end up overlapping people because I know I'm over the relationship, so I move on without telling them. It's not good. I've never broken up with someone successfully, she confessed. In 2004, Longoria met NBA star Tony Parker. She described their introduction as lust at first sight, and it wasn't long before they became an official item. Two years later, the couple announced their engagement. Speaking about his proposal, Parker said he knew it was right, adding, we've been talking for months about it, and I just knew it was time. The duo tied the knot in Paris in 2007, and it seemed as though Eva had finally gotten her happily ever after. Sadly, it wasn't the case. Just three years later, the actress confirmed that she and Tony had separated. It is with great sadness that after seven years together, Tony and I have decided to divorce. We love each other deeply and pray for each other's happiness, the actress tweeted. While the statement was brief, it didn't quite prepare the world for the scandal that would soon unfold surrounding their divorce. It turned out that Eva had found texts from another woman on Tony's phone. The woman in question was later revealed to be Erin Barry, the wife of Parker Spurs teammate Brent Barry. I think it was disappointing because I had such an identity in being Mrs. Parker and being a wife. And so when that's taken away from you, you go, who am I? Although he claimed that his affair with Erin was never physical, it was enough of a betrayal for Longoria to file for divorce. The media storm around her divorce, along with Tony's betrayal, left Eva in a dark place. The actress admitted, I was not eating. I was depressed. I was sad. Following her painful breakup with her second husband, Eva hoped that she could get her groove back in the dating world. Soon, Eduardo Cruz came into her life and stole her heart. Soon after the pair became a couple, Longoria shared that she struggled with dating after her divorce, but described Cruz as the dream man she had manifested. The actress didn't lose hope after her two previous marriages didn't work out. She was optimistic about her future with her new beau and gushed that she was very lucky to have found him. Unfortunately, after about a year or so, their romance fizzled out. In 2012, Eva and Eduardo decided to go their separate ways. In an unexpected turn of events, a reality show helped Eva find love once again. In 2013, the actress executive produced Ready for Love, a matchmaking reality show that aimed to help three hopeful bachelors find their perfect match. One of the show's bachelors, Ernesto Aguayo, ended up falling in love with Longoria. The actress soon took their romance public and appeared to be completely smitten with Arguello. I think that's why our relationship is so special. We truly started as friends, she shared. Although there were whispers of a potential wedding between the budding couple, they confirmed their split just four months into their relationship. An insider close to the former pair explained that they struggled to make time for one another due to their respective busy schedules. After two failed marriages and numerous fleeting romances that didn't seem to last, Eva could have given up hope on finding the one. 
You know, for me, being a woman, I, I realize you cannot identify yourself through a man or th or through your marriage. Amen. Yeah. Or through a partner. Yeah. yeah. But the actress refused to be defeated by her past heartbreaks and continued to keep the door open for love. When the time was right, she knew the right man was going to walk through that door and sweep her off her feet. When 38-year-old Longoria was introduced to 45-year-old executive producer Jose Baston, that's exactly what happened. Well, almost. It was more like love at second sight for the pair, because it wasn't until they were reintroduced six months later that the actress felt sparks fly. Recalling their first meeting, Eva explained that she and Jose were both getting out of a relationship, so there wasn't a connection. They shared nothing more than a pleasant conversation, and she didn't think anything more of it. But when the pair crossed paths again months later, it was nothing like the first time they met. It was like the cliché angel singing, and there was a glow around him, and it was immediate chemistry, she said, adding that they went on a four-hour lunch date the very next day. Her spark with Baston felt different from all the other men that she dated in her life. While she described him as the most handsome man she'd ever seen and charismatic, sweet, and funny, it wasn't just his good looks and charm that drew her in. I thought, who is this guy? He is probably one of the first men I've dated that has been older and established, and basically a grown-up, she confessed. The couple kept their romance under the radar for a few months, but by November 2013, they confirmed their relationship with the public. He, he doesn't dim my light, he's very proud, he's very supportive, um, he hates the red carpet. Eva couldn't have been more smitten with Jose by her side, and she wasn't afraid to express her love for her new man. I want to yell from the highest mountaintop about everything that goes on with us, she gushed, adding, I'm so happy and excited to be with a person as kind as he is. A little over two years after they started dating, Baston asked Longoria to marry him in a desert in Dubai. He planned for like six months. It was in the Dubai desert. There was camels and falcons and I mean, it was a, b a bunch of animals involved. Well, that now it's sounding like a wildlife attack. <laughs> <laughs> she shared the news in an Instagram post along with a picture of the couple kissing. The actress's ruby and diamond engagement ring was proudly displayed on her ring finger. Eva later opened up about his proposal, sharing, I'm still in the glow of the engagement, and it was such a surprise, so we're still absorbing that moment. In May 2016, the couple got married during a gorgeous sunset ceremony in Mexico. The newlyweds celebrated their special day surrounded by their closest family and friends. Jose surprised his beautiful bride throughout the evening with countless sweet gestures, and Eva felt so overwhelmed with happiness. I was like, I can't handle anymore. My heart is going to explode, she recalled her wedding day. While this was Longoria's third time down the aisle, it was also Baston's second. The producer had previously been married to Mexican actress Natalia Esperon. Jose and Natalia were together for 10 years and welcomed three children together before they divorced in 2005. Ahead of their one-year wedding anniversary, Longoria opened up about life as a newlywed. She said that her husband is the best part of life, adding that people get really annoyed with them because they love each other so much. She continued, People always ask, do you like being married? It's not that I like marriage, I like being married to him. He's the one that makes it all special and worth it. The actress discussed their shared passions and shared that she and Baston are constantly discovering things about each other. Eva explained that some days it feels like they've been together for 40 years, and other days it feels like they just met. He's, he's just yeah. amazing and loving and, and yeah. sweet, but you know, I'm just so traditional. I like. I like being in the kitchen and cooking and making sure dinner is ready. Like, that's just me. Not that it's for everybody. And I'm a feminist, so. What's more, the actress loves being a stepmom to Jose's three kids. We're so compatible. We love the same things family, friends, and traveling. So there's not a lot we've learned separately about each other. But there's a lot we learn together about life, she explained. Longoria also confessed that Baston changed her perspective on marriage. Her two previous divorces left a bad taste in her mouth, and she no longer romanticized the idea of being married. I'm not a fan of marriage. I like being married to him, she said, adding, I never thought I would get married again. It's him. He makes it all worth it. When they fell in love, she realized that it was time to change her focus on what it meant to be in a serious relationship with someone. She was in her 40s, and he was in his 50s, and she thought, can we just enjoy this life together? There was something special 
about finding one another later in life. They had both been previously married, had relationships fail, and had their hearts broken. So when Eva and Jose came together, they knew what they wanted out of their relationship, and they were going to do things right this time around. They were going to focus on being happy and not sweat the small stuff. The connection she shares with Baston, even though it came later in life, has made them feel like eternal newlyweds. We're priorities for each other, so it's pretty easy, she said. At the end of 2017, the couple confirmed that they were expecting their first child together. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Yes, and you know, he can hear you, so yeah. he's gonna hear this weird English accent right now. <laughs> Welcome to American Airlines. <laughs> In June of the following year, they welcomed a bouncing baby boy they named Santiago Enrique. We are so grateful for this beautiful blessing, the couple said of their newborn. At 43 years old, the first time mom felt like it was the perfect time to start a family. Santi was meant to be with me at this stage in my life. I'm patient. I don't work as much. It's the right time. After years of heartbreak, Eva has finally settled into a life of love and motherhood. Now that she has her happily ever after, she feels that she can relax and focus on this beautiful marriage with her husband and raise their son together. Loving him is the easiest thing that I've ever done in my life, Longoria gushed.